Welcome! In front of me is an Honor 200 Smart, and today I'll show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. So when you put it up for the first time, you'll be presented with the same screen you can see on my end, where you get to find your desired language. Now for me it already selected English, so that's what I'm gonna stick with anyway. Now next we're gonna click on get started, and you wanna choose your region. I would recommend choosing anything that is in the European Union, as this might give you better consumer rights if uh, this follows the same kind of laws. So yeah, choose anything this European Union, like this for instance, Poland, good enough. Next, in terms of use, uh, we do get to agree to all of them. Uh, I can read by tapping on details what you're agreeing to. And then we can insert our SIM card, which is completely optional. Next, we have also option to connect to mobile or to Wi-Fi. Uh, again, this is optional. You can skip this. Now, in my case, I might not be able to because the way I have reset this device. So I'll be actually forced into connecting to network. So that's what I'm going to do right now quickly. There we go. Now the reason I need to connect to it because it will be because I need to verify the previously uh, previous screen lock or Google account, as I have reset it without providing either one of those through recovery mode. So this is just a protection method for Android. So here we can copy apps and the data uh, that we'll be using Google account. I'm not going to be doing that, so I'm going to select don't copy. And here's the verification process. On your end, you should not see this at all. If your device is new uh, or even secondhand, if you see this, return it. Uh, you should not be seeing this. This is only as a verification method if the device was reset it unpro not properly or without verification. So next is what you should be able to see, which is the sign in page. Now this is optional and you can skip this if you don't want to sign into Google, but it's Android. So you probably will sign in as that's how you access Google Play Store and so on. For the sake of saving time, I am skipping this though. Next we have Google services like scanning, uh, or location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You can toggle all of those off. It's Google though, let's be honest. It's not like these will probably do anything by turning them off. Next, we have choose your browser and search engine. Uh, so click next and then find whichever browser you want to use. Uh, I will say not every browser is here. Uh, so there are way more browsers to, for you to choose from. I'm gonna stick with Firefox uh, as this is one that I prefer over the default Chrome. And I highly recommend changing any, checking anything that isn't Chrome or, or Chromium based, uh, which for instance, Firefox is not. Next, we have select a search engine. Again, I don't use Google. It's at this point such a meme and dog shit of a search engine that there's no point choosing it. It's not like you're gonna get the answers that you're searching for using it. You're just gonna get uh, sponsored ads. That's primarily what you get in this search engine nowadays. Uh, and funny enough, Bing at this point seems to be a better search engine than Google is. Uh, but let's see, what do I want to use? Honestly, not all these really spark my fancy. So I'm just going to select Brave in this case. Data and privacy. Um, I'm just going to click on next. And then we have Honor ID. No, I don't want notifications. Uh, this is uh, notifications from Honor. I, I don't care for that. And I don't care for Honor uh, ID as there is not really any benefit for you to using it. We're already running Android and we're going to be using Google most likely. So this just serves no purpose. So you want to click right here, uh, no account or other login methods. And then you can select set up later and settings. Obviously, obviously it needs to hide the option to skip it just like Apple does. And select no thanks. Next, we can protect our device uh, by adding fingerprint, face recognition, and pin pattern or password. If you're planning to use fingerprint or face recognition, you will always be also required to select pin pattern or password as biometrics aren't always 100% reliable. And in the times they fail you, you would be able to use the pin pattern password to unlock your phone. Or you just skip this and don't protect your phone at all. Though I would not recommend doing so. That's also what I'll be doing though. Enhanced services, um, it's completely up to you, you can read what this is. Um, I'm just gonna select no thanks as I usually do. 
uh, user experience improvement programs, location services, uh, keep your software up to date. Uh, the automatic updates, basically, um, if you agree to it, obviously it's going to automatically update it, most likely overnight. Uh, if you don't want that, you can click right here, update manually and select um, don't enable. Next, we have system navigation, gestures or buttons, choose whichever one you prefer. I like gestures, so that's what I'm gonna stick with. And all I need to do is click on finish, which will take me to the home screen with a device fully set up. So there we go. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.